Okay, so carrying on with my renovate gear. Uh, today I'm looking at uh, renovating my entrenching tool or foldable spade and my water bottle. Now, the spade, this is cloth tape. Uh, I've used this because the handles are knurled, which is that kind of cross hatching pattern that you get on tools, uh, sometimes screwdrivers or spanners. Um, it's not very good on the hands, the palms, because uh, it's quite aggressive. You'll end up getting uh, calluses using it. So uh, I've taped up the handles. I mean, I think you can actually just make out some of the knurling there. There we go. Um, but the thing is, though, it's it's silver throughout, so uh, it still stands out a bit. I mean, look again. There's the knurling. Um, I can't actually look at that. That's a screwable part. I gotta leave that as it is. So I could paint it, but the problem with paint is it'll flake off. Um, so I'm gonna put. I've put this on it. I'm gonna put more on the parts that are exposed, and then I'm gonna use some of this um, camouflage bandaging just to finish it off. The same goes for my water canteen. Now I've got two here next to each other to explain why. What you would do out uh, bushcrafting or camping uh, in the wild is that you'd collect water. Now this container, I'd use this to collect the untreated water. I wouldn't drink from this, but this, I would drink from after I put the water from this into that and then use the campfire to sterilize the contents there you go obviously I'm going to filter it before it goes into that as well by the way now um, the tape which I've already started on on this one is going to have more than one function the first thing is it's going to protect the vessel it's going to obviously give it a deco that matches the environment as opposed to red and also it's going to keep the container dark because the water in there isn't exposed to sunlight the water in there could be exposed to sunlight in which case you're going to get algae and other flora blooming so to reduce that tape it up there you go all I have to worry about cleaning is the contents of the bottle and around the mouth. Uh, otherwise, I don't have to worry about this. And if it does get grimy, I can just peel it off. So there's not a, a drama. So there you go. That's my project. And uh, I'll start taping up now. And there you go. So, uh, yeah, it's all right. This stuff's like... Um, I think it's vet tape uh, for horses. It's kind of a rubbery sort of bandaging. Tingles to that. But anyway, that's what I've done so far. Uh, at some point I'm going to integrate this and a fishing kit into the shaft of the um, spade. But other than that, yeah, it's come out alright. I like it. 